Hi guys, it's uh, Inam Kafour here, and in this video, we're going to do a quick Chrome browser comparison between uh, the Google Nexus 7 tablet on the left hand side and the Galaxy S3 on the right hand side. Now, as I mentioned in a previous video, the only reason why we're doing this comparison is because both these devices are very similar in spec, apart from the obvious differences being the screen size, where the Nexus 7 has a 7 inch screen and uh, the S3 has a 4.8 inch screen. The similarities are both have a, a similar screen resolution of 1280 by 800 on the Nexus 7 and 1280 by 720 on the S3. Both have one gigabyte of RAM. Both support uh, quad-core processors or have quad-core processors that is, and both have 16 gigabytes of onboard storage. So if we get to it, we'll just load up Chrome on both. Now it should take you into where it was previously. So what we'll do is just load up the bookmarks on the S3. So it's uh, there we go. Now the first site we're going to go into is the yahoo.co.uk site. Now I will say at this point that we haven't uh, set the browser to preload any of the websites. The cache has been cleared on both and we're running off Wi-Fi. Both the devices are the same distance away from the router. So if we tap on both those to load S3 blue bar going across there but it looks like the Nexus 7 one loaded really quick uh, but anywho it's gone to the the mobile site so what we'll do is just uh, request a desktop site on both so what we'll do that one's done well, the content wasn't all loaded, so I think the Nexus 7 had that ever so slightly, but just purely because the, the content wasn't loaded on the S3. Hmm, interesting. If you, if you look at the pictures, Usher's face on the S3 seemed a lot more detailed, even though the Nexus 7 has a a higher res screen. Text obviously looks good. We've got the brightness turned down on both of these a little bit just so that you can see the, the screen otherwise it would have been just a pure white light coming from both of them. See the, the colour difference between the two. We'll just zoom out, pinch out. No checkered board effects on either of these. Page pretty much loads straight away. Yeah. What we'll do, we'll just go back to the bookmarks. Okay, from the bookmarks, the next one that we'll do is uh, we'll do the Guardian homepage, which is a UK newspaper. S3's bar still going across. Whereas it looks like the Nexus 7 has finished, that bar's just finished to say it's loaded. So Nexus 7 has that one again. Uh, contents all there. No checkered board effect as if it's loading. A lot of content on there. Same for the S3, everything's just there. No checkered board effect to say it's still loading. Right, now let's zoom in a little bit on these. Now, if you look, it's just decided to change the picture. Okay, so if we go back out. Back to the main page, here we go. The colour replication on the S3 seems to be better than on the, the Nexus. Yeah, it does. So if we just zoom back out again. Scroll a little bit further down, see if we can see anything. if we can 
you can see that picture of Marilyn Monroe there. The color replication on the, on the S3 seems a lot vibrant and brighter than on the Nexus. That's all out. So what we'll do is we'll just go to bookmarks again. And we'll load into the bbc.co.uk website now. That's pretty much there. I think that was on a par. Both were pretty much loaded straight away. No checkerboard effect, they were just there. So if we just tap in. No checkerboard effect, it's just there. Scroll across. Responds pretty well. A lot of content on the BBC website. But it seems to have loaded pretty much all there, even when you're scrolling across it just it doesn't have any sort of checkerboard effect. To say it's loading, it's just there. We just zoom into a picture, say that golfer just shows you the color replication again, ever so slightly vibrant on the S3 compared to the Nexus 7, and a little bit more detailed as well. And if we drop down below and just have a look at Hugh Stevens. See the re color replication is in his hair. It does seem a lot more vibrant on the the S3 than it does on the the Nexus 7. So the browsers, to sum up, are pretty much very good on both. But the Nexus 7 has the ever so slightly in terms of loading, faster pages. They respond brilliantly, equally as good as a Galaxy S3 smartphone. And what I also wanted to show you was on the. If we just go back to uh, bookmarks again. Whoops. If we go back to uh, not bookmarks, it was other devices. What I found cool uh, on Chrome was that you can go to other devices that you've got logged in as your uh, well, other devices that you've logged in with your Google account with. You can load the pages on those screens. So, for example. If we look on the, the Nexus 7 tab there, it gives the name of my PC and last synchronized 14 minutes ago and the websites are on there. And I can, if I go in on the bottom one, it will show me the website as it is on my PC. How cool is that? That's the CNN one loaded on my PC. And it takes it from, if I go back one, We'll go to other devices so because I've gone back, it's gone to the back page that was on my PC. So, the previous page that was on my PC. So, we we'll go to other devices again, and you can see it's also got a, a link there for the, the Galaxy S3. It's got last sync to just now with just a new tab open, and that's it. The same section on, on the other devices section on the S3, it's got the same thing name of the PC synced 15 minutes ago, and the same pages are open there. So, I hit it the CNN one and it should load to the mobile version so if you request the desktop site there you go that loads it as it is from there and it's exactly the same page I think that's pretty cool between the two devices so any any device that you've signed in with your Google account on if you leave that on the screen or on the phone it, you can view the same website on another device as you saw there. Another feature that I wanted to show you guys was the voice recognition feature within the Chrome browser. Now along the search bar along the top you'll see a favorites icon Now next to that you'll see a little microphone. Now the microphone activates the voice recognition and basically once you tap it you just speak the words of whatever you want to search for and it displays them in uh, the Google search engine. For example, Coca-Cola 
there you go and it gives you the results of coca-cola from the google search engine now whatever search engine you set it to be and this one's a .co.uk one we'll just do it again microsoft and it gives you a search for microsoft this is in no way in meant to be aimed at like a personal assistant like siri or s voice is this is purely for search purposes so you can tell it ask it what type of weather it is but it may not know what's the weather like today and it'll simply searches for what's the weather like today in Google and it knows what my location is so it just tells me what it is 21 degrees in Stourbridge and the time now but if I say something like will I need a umbrella today It just comes back with the temperature. It won't, uh, and the weather. It won't actually say yes or no. It doesn't respond. It's not, uh, as I say, it's not a personal res personal assistant in any way. All it is is a voice recognition feature to search the Google search engine, uh, which I think is a pretty cool feature because it saves you having to type in by hand uh, what you want to search for. You can just say it, and it comes up, which is pretty awesome. And that's been a quick browser comparison between the, the Google Nexus 7 tablet and the Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphone. Any questions or comments that you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Hit subscribe from the button up top there. It doesn't cost you anything and it's free. And you can check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and we'll see you next time.